Hi friends, it's Miss Rebecca from Arlington Heights Memorial Library and I'm at home today and I wanted to share some stories and songs with all my story time friends because um, I really miss our story times together so I hope you're ready to have a little fun with me. If you have any furry friends or toys you'd like to bring over to join story time, why don't you go ahead and grab those and you might be able to use them a little later when you sing some of our, our songs together, okay? Let's start with our hello song. And for this hello song, we're going to say hello like that. Can you try that? It's just a little salute. Hello. And we're also going to sing and sign friends. So for that, we need your fingers and you're just going to hook your fingers together that's how we say friends. And one more we're going to do is for time. You're just going to point at your wrist for time. That's where a lot of people wear a watch. So that's how we say time. Okay? Let's try it. Ready? Hello, friends. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. It's time to say hello. Nice, I like that. You did really good. Let's try it one more time together. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. It's time to say hello. Nice, I like that. So since we're singing about friends, I want to show you a special friend that is here with me today. And many of you will remember Dewey from the library. Say hi, Dewey. So Dewey's been hanging out with me. I'm taking very good care of him. He's getting lots of playtime, right, Dewey? And lots of treats and listening to a lot of stories, which he really, really likes. Definitely, I know. So Dewey's gonna hang out with me and he'll be visiting us sometimes for story. Okay, sure. Yeah, I think we can do that. There's a favorite song Dewey likes to sing at the end of the story, so I told him we, could, we I think we can arrange that, all right? So Dewey's gonna hang out right here in his basket. I have it right next to me. There you go, boy. And he's gonna listen to some stories with, with us, okay? So the first song we have, well, before we get to that, let's do one more thing. I know you might have been hearing a lot about how we have to wash our hands. So we're gonna sing our hand washing song. So we're gonna get them wet with some pretend water and a little pretend soap, right? We need that. And then we're going to sing our hand washing song. We shared this a little bit in story time when we were still in the building. So maybe some of you will remember it. Okay. Tops and bottoms, tops and bottoms, in between, in between, rub them all together. Rub them all together until they're clean, squeaky clean. Nice. That's a good song to sing. You can sing that a couple times when you're washing your hands to make sure they're clean. All right. So now, definitely, I want to share a story with you. It is called Rita and Ralph's Rotten Day. Can you see my friends there? They both look a little angry, don't they? They're having a rotten day or a bad day. Hmm. This is by Carmen Agradidi and Pete Oswald. Read with permission. Rita and Ralph's Rotten Day. In two little houses on two little hills lived two best friends. Every morning, Rita and Ralph would open their doors, step outside, close their doors, and they would go down the hill, up the hill, down the hill, up the hill. There they are. You see them? They'd meet under the apple tree, and they would pinky shake and do a cha-cha-cha, which is a dance. They would play zombie tag and make daisy chains. Then, one day, they played a new game, sticks and stones. Can 
You see Rita holding a stick and Ralph is holding a stone. Uh-oh. Oh! Oh, said Rita. Uh-oh, said Ralph. This was bad. Really bad. Oh, so they ran away. They ran down the hill and up the hill, down the hill and up the hill. Oh, boy. Looks like they're going back to their houses. They opened their doors, raced inside, and closed their doors. Rita was mad. Ralph was sorry. <laughs> so Ralph opened the door, stepped outside, and closed the door. It was a hundred years to Rita's house. That means it was very far. But she was his friend. So Ralph went down the hill, up the hill, 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 all the way back to his house. Oh no, sorry. <laughs> He's going to her house. <laughs> the long walk made Ralph a smidge grumpy. I'm sorry, he barked. <laughs> But he didn't sound one bit sorry. So Rita did not open the door. Grrr, said Ralph. And off he stopped. Now he's going back home. He went down the hill, up the hill, down the hill, up the hill, down the hill, up the hill, down the hill, up the hill. <sighs> all the way back to his home. He opened the door, stepped inside, and closed the door. Now Ralph was mad, and Rita was kind of sorry. Hmm. So she opened the door, Stepped outside, closed the door. What do you think Rita's going to do now? She went down the hill and up the hill, down the hill and up the hill, down the hill and up the hill, down the hill and up the hill. And there she is. She's at Ralph's house. As she ran, she thought about Ralph and the rock. Just thinking about it made her mad again, all over again. I want my pine cone back, she shouted. Ralph opened the door oh, and threw it out. There it is. You see it flying out the door? And closed the door. And Rita tramped. We know where she's going, right? She went. Down the hill, up the hill, down the hill, up the hill, down the hill, up the hill, down the hill, up the hill. All the way back to her house again. Hmm. She opened her door, marched inside, and slammed the door. Now Rita was mad, and she was sad. Ralph was mad, and he was sad, too. In two little houses, on two little hills, no one slept a wink. It had been a rotten day. Just when it seemed nothing would be right again, it was a new day. Rita and Ralph opened the doors, stepped outside, closed their doors. 
we know where they're going, right? And they both went down the hill, up the hill, down the hill, up the hill. Do you see where they are right there in the middle? I'm sorry, said Rita. I'm sorrier, said Ralph. And they meant it. They did a high five. They did a pinky shake and a cha-cha-cha and played zombie tag. And they made daisy chains. Because best friends always find a way to meet in the middle. It looks like they're back under the apple tree, doesn't it? There's a lot of apples on the ground here. Let's count the apples together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven apples. Oh, how about we count the ones in them that they ate? Seven, eight, nine. That's a lot of apples. That's Rita and Ralph's rotten day. At the end of this story, there's a fun little finger finger play I want to share with everybody. I want to teach you, okay? So we're going to start with your houses. So this is you're going to make your, put your thumbs in and fold your fingers in, and that's going to be your house. And we're going to open the door and run, okay? You'll see. Let's make your house in two little houses on two little hills. They open the door. They stepped outside. They closed the door and they went down the hill, up the hill, down the hill, up the hill, and they met in the middle. <laughs> and that is Rita and Ralph's rotten day. But it had a nice ending, didn't it? I like that story. So I hope you liked it too. We got to count and we got to move our fingers a lot. Um, and did anyone notice the birds in that story? There were some birds flying around. So I have some other friends here with me from the library. They are my red birds. Now you can use your fingers. Just use your fingers. Get those little fingers moving, okay? And I'm going to use my red birds. You can use your pointer fingers. And we're going to pretend they're little birds right now. So our little red birds, we're going to hide them behind our back. There we go. Hide them back there. Two little red birds sitting on a hill. One named Jack, one named Jill. Fly away, Jack. Fly away, Jill. Come back, Jack. Come back, Jill. Here's our red birds. Let's pretend they're sitting on a cloud, okay? And we're going to name them quiet and loud. So you get to make a little noise now. Let's hide the red birds. Two little red birds sitting on a cloud. One name quiet and one name loud. Fly away, quiet. Fly away loud. Come back quiet. Come back loud. Here they are. Yeah, should we do one more? Okay. Where should we have them sitting now? What do you think? Okay, we could do that. Let's have them sitting on a pole. I like that one. And we'll name them fast and slow. Okay, hide your red birds. Here we go. Two little red birds sitting on a pole, one named Vest, and one named Slow. Fly away, Vest. Fly away, Slow. Come back, Vest. Come back, Slow. <laughs> There's our red birds. Yeah, very nice. You could sing that anytime you like. Just pull your fingers out, and those will be your birdies. You can make them any color you want. 
So there were birdies in that first story, and then we sang our birdie song. Let's see if there's any birdies in our next story. It's called Kindness Counts. One, two, three. Let's count our friends on the cover of this book. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There's nine friends. Um, this one's by R.A. Strong, and the pictures are by Ekaterina Fukan. Fukan. Mmm. <laughs> Ten cookies on a plate. Ready to be delivered. Nine wildflowers picked with care to make a sad friend or a sad face smile. Eight toys to share so everyone can have a turn to play. Seven pushes on a swing to send your sister flying. <laughs> yeah, this page has a lot of birdies on there. Let's count the birdies. How about that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Six cans for the food pantry to help others who are hungry. They're stacking up some food on the shelves for other people to eat and enjoy. That sounds very kind. Five books to read with your brothers when bedtime's nearly here. I'll count the books. One, two, three, four, five. Four happy paws and a wagging tail when it's time to play outside. Let's count his paws. One, two, three, four. Just like Dewey. Three short words for Grandma and Grandpa so they don't feel so far away. There's three hearts. One, two, three. What do you think those three words are? Who? Maybe she's saying, I love you. Two careful feet stepping over ants, marching back to their hill. There's the feet. One, two. One act of kindness can go a long way. An act of kindness is just a way to be nice. What's the first kind thing that you'll do today? Let's see. So this friend is watering some seeds in the ground. And this one, it looks like they're sharing um, what is that? A green apple, I think. Oh, I like green apples. And these friends are together carrying that bag. That sack of groceries, that's a good way to be kind. These friends, can you see that? They are feeding the birds. Hey, there's more birds. These friends are sharing the umbrella so they all stay dry. Oh, hugs are a nice way to be kind. I like that one. And of course, taking good care of your pets and playing with them. That's a good way to be kind also. Well, if we could bring kindness with us wherever we go, what do you think would happen? We can all find ways to be kind to ourselves, our neighbors, classmates, family, teachers, friends, and everyone. The more ways to be kind, there are more ways to be kind than you might imagine. How do you show kindness? So some friends here says, this is Isabel and she's four. She says, I share my toys. 
Gray says, one time I had dinner at a friend's house and I said, thank you for having me. And they said, thank you for coming. I help my mom and dad wash our dog. <gasps> that's what Noah does. Hey, Dewey, that's a good idea. I help my friends zip their jackets up so, so they aren't cold. That's what Daniel does, and he's six. And Rory, who's four, says, I give hugs and kisses. Those are some great ways to be kind. That's kindness counts. There we go. That's a fun story. So I wanted to be kind to my family. So I made um, for my family some pumpkin muffins. Oh, let me get it unwrapped. Come on. Oh, there we go. I made them some pumpkin muffins. There's more in the kitchen. So we're all going to enjoy these for a snack a little bit later because I just wanted to be kind. So maybe you can think of some way that you can be kind to people around you, okay? So I want to thank everybody for, for sharing stories and songs with me today. It's been a lot of fun. Um, as we all work from home, we're trying to do some fun things that we hope you enjoy. So Dewey, do you think you're ready? Let's get Dewey back up here. There we go. There he is. So just remember to tune into our social media or the library website for more information, okay? And keep working those fingers with puppets and songs and fun games because we need to get those fingers moving and the exercises and, and muscles developed because it helps later when they're learning to write to hold a pencil or crayon. It helps develop those muscles in their little fingers. Right, Dewey? I think so. Are you ready? Oh, he's all ready. Okay, here you go. If you have your furry friend or a toy, you can hold yours to sing our goodbye song, okay? We're going to sing, I'm going to sing it puppy dog, but you can call your, your item whatever you want. Puppy dog, puppy dog, turn around. Good job, Dewey. Puppy dog, puppy dog, touch the ground. Puppy dog, puppy dog, reach up high. Puppy dog, puppy dog, say bye-bye. Nice job, Dewey. Well, I hope you all had fun, fun and we'll meet again soon. Bye.